Whoa. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome, my YouTube friends, my The Mike Dolce Show podcast friends. Um, it's good to see everybody on this Monday. What are we talking about today? Well, if you've, you've downloaded the video, if you've clicked on the video, you know we're talking about calories and specifically how many calories do you need to hit your goals? Most people don't know. It's, ooh, it's a hocus pocus of how many calories. I don't know how many calories I need. I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to eat a hot dog instead. I'm going to have a donut or cookies or ice cream or burritos or bagels instead. I'm going to skip meals instead i'm gonna take the low cal no carb sugar free xyz to hit my goals because i don't know how many calories i need well i'm gonna tell you for the first time and the only time you'll never need to worry about calories again because i'm gonna tell you how simple this is first you take your your you need to live right we'll break it down simple 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 you need to live. In order to live, you need a certain amount of calories, right? Just to keep your body working and thriving. What we call this is the BMR, the basal metabolic rate. That's the amount of calories you need while completely at rest. If you don't get out of your bed, but your heart still needs to pump and your little brain still needs to, to, to house the, the, the cobwebs and the, and the little, you know, Twitty birds that are spinning around up there. Wow, a little rough, Dolce but you need to run your body, right? So you need a certain amount of calories to run your body, just so we all understand. So it's not, not hocus pocus, the calorie you know, paradox. Everyone gets so crazy about calories. So we need to live. And then you say, all right, so if I need to live, and here's, here's the hack, here's, this, is, this is gold right here. This is gold. So I spent the first two minutes getting rid of the dead weight. People are like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Now I'm gonna give you guys the gold. There's what's known as the Harris-Benedict equation. The Harris-Benedict equation is one of the top two, top three agreed upon scientific medical approximations of how many calories the average human actually needs. And why I say approximation is because nobody can really say for sure with all the sophisticated testing and all the sophisticated tests that have been done by all, all the sophisticated brains. Nobody still really knows exactly how many you need, but we have some, some estimates. We know we have some estimates and the Harris Benedict equation was just a, a good solid formula that helps us determine what these estimates are in generality. What's interesting to note is that if you simply take your body weight and you put a zero to the back of it, that's about what you need. And that's exactly or almost exactly what the, the Harris-Benedict equation shows with most every person who tries within a, a small, small margin of error. So you can go online. And of course, I always say, check everything I say. Please check everything I say. Just type in Harris-Benedict equation or BMR calculator. And what you'll see is that the Harris-Benedict equation corresponds very easily to just times in your body weight by one zero by 10. So at 200 pounds, easy to talk about a 200 pound person, at 200 pounds, you need about 2000 calories per day to live, to survive while laying at bed. That's your approximate BMR, basal metabolic rate. Now for everything you do in your life, just simply add 500 calories, three to 800 would be the range, but about 500, cause I'm gonna tie this up at the end for you. So you have your BMR of 2000. Now I'm, 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 I'm awake. I'm, I'm a busy, busy enough guy. I do some sit down, talk and work. I do a, you know, a little bit of travel in and out and, and, you know, a couple different locations per day. Uh, I'm not sedentary, but I'm not, I'm not swinging the hammer all day. Like, like I used to. And then like many of us do from time to time, I'm not doing that. So I'm, I'm, I'm running probably about 500 or so calories in my normal day. Most people too, probably just general daily activities going to the post office and just kind of loafing my way from my car seat to walking in and picking up something and coming back to my seat and coming here into a seat. It's about 500 calories. Now, when you exercise or you perform something additional, add another three to 800 calories based upon the duration and based upon the intensity. Easy math, 500 calories, simple average. 
I live a normal, pretty busy day, but nothing crazy. I'm not really, you know, breaking a sweat, you know, at work for the, the, the six to 12 hours that I do that stuff. That's going to be about 500 calories, give or take, give or take based upon body mass, give or take based upon intensity, give or take based upon age, give or take based upon geography, give or take based upon medical history, but it's about 500. We exercise 300. Yeah, I went for a run. I went for a nice jog for a, a mile or for an hour or so. That's going to burn some people about 300. The heavier you are, it's going to burn a little bit more, four, five, maybe 600. If you're a plotter, if you're efficient, that'll go down. If I'm training with weights, if I'm doing, you know, my, my three sets of 10, 12, 15 of, of, of three or four exercises per body part, probably about 500 or so calories you're burning. If you start getting a little crazy, crazy or a little more intense, that's going to up it to the 800 or so. Some of the advanced trainees might be up over that, but likely not you. I mean, general population, probably 17% of you will be in that advanced category. Um, and that's fine because we have that content too that we'll talk about. But for most people, we have our BMR, our basal metabolic rate. That's about 2,000 calories per the 200-pound person. I'm using me as an example, about 2,000 calories. I add 500 for my day-to-day, -day, right? We add 500 calories per day for my, like, general activities um, and another 500 calories because, of you know, we're exercising. And that's a good place to start. Your big, your basic energy blocks, right? We just look at the big energy blocks. Let's fill in those energy blocks. And then let's adopt a, a nutrition program, a lifestyle, a, a habit system where we, we eliminate predictability or we, we eliminate uh, variability. We, we increase predictability. So we eat about the same things, so about the same meals at about the same times for the about the same 3,000 calories or so per day. And we, we just track our progress for three days or so. If I'm not gaining anything and my goal is to lose, then I take a few hundred calories away per day. If I'm not gaining anything and my goal is to gain, then I add a couple hundred calories more per day, spread evenly across each meal, probably for generalities. We could go post-workout, we could front load the day, or we could cycle onto a, a, a refeed, you know, three, four, five day cycle. But you can make an adjustment after about three days of analysis. A little bump and you just track your weight every morning step on the scale step on the scale step on the scale every morning just track your weight how are you performing you know how's your body feeling how are you looking and you make a little 10 percent adjustment up or down that's 300 calories on a 3,000 calorie diet up or down and a small little adjustment and give it another three days or so three to ten days but in three days you really start paying attention so your body has time to adjust by that phase, you should be on the way to hitting your goal. It's like within the first three, five days of starting a new meal plan. And notice I'm not telling you to follow any specific plan. It's, it's just the, the, the total calorie ceiling. That's the point of this video. Of course, the quality of calories is much more important even than the, than, than the total caloric ceiling or even the macronutrient relationship within that caloric ceiling. It's the micros that are the most important. But calories do matter. They, they don't matter as much as the micros, but they, they do matter. And this video is, is so you guys understand about how many calories do you need. With that simple, you find out your BMR, you just take your body weight, you throw a zero onto the end. You add about 500 calories per day through your average daily normal life activity and throw another 500 calories or so on top of that for your, your exercise per day. And we all should be. And if you're not exercising on some day, you're just kind of laying around relaxing, Maybe that's, that's a, a 1,800, you know, 2,200 calorie day because you're laying on the couch all day watching football, not doing much, and you're not exercising at all, which is totally cool. That happens too in life, and it should. But that's likely not a, a, a 3,000 calorie plus day, even on a weight gain cycle, unless it's a refeed. And I alluded to the, the refeed earlier, unless it's a refeed where you're running more of a calorie cycle that can run at the same time as a macro cycle, right? So you, your calories can be waving up and down and your macros should be waving, you know, back and around. Protein should, should stay relatively static. You know, that, that should be 0 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of, of relatively lean body mass. 
you know, just let you guys decide because again, there's generalities here, right? So we understand it. And then we drill down into the quality and the quality, I'll do another video on, on why the micronutrition is much more important. So I'm at 10 minutes now, that's the rant. I'm gonna answer some of your questions and then bounce out. Jason Montoya first. Yes. What's up, Jason? Good to see you, my man. Tyler Rose, best nutrition coach, hands down. Tyler Rose, I appreciate that. We work hard for you guys. So, Cal Seth, what's up, my man? How is the legend? I don't know. When you see Elvis Presley, tell him I said hello. Kirsten Calloway, Dolce Diet Time. Hell yeah. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Kirsten, weekend was awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good times. Shandar Pass. What's up, boss? What's up, Shandar? Let's hear it. You got it. Steven Salmons. What's up, Dolce? Thanks for the free content. As always, Steven, it is an honor and a pleasure. Our goal here at our team, uh, with our team, inside our team, is to educate, to inspire, and to entertain. That's what we do. That's what we do. So if, if these you know videos and this engagement and this time that I can spend with you guys um, on, on YouTube, on the podcast, in the ways that we do, if that can help anybody, if I can help just one starving <laughs> child um you know what i mean so we're, we're here and we're happy to help man this is awesome um tracy lumgare best and honest coach around thank you tracy thank you that means a lot i am the most honest man in fitness because i tell the truth right i tell the truth we've never sold out we've never sold you guys a bunch of bullshit i tell you exactly what works we work with the world's greatest athletes, Hollywood's most beautiful celebrities, right? We work with all them. You know we do. It's everywhere. Um, that's awesome. So we tell you wh how, what we do with them. We tell you what works, what we've seen work. That's what we do. This is what the world's greatest athletes do. This is what the world's prettiest bodies do. This is what they do. They don't fucking macro. They don't keto. They don't, they don't carnivore. They don't super supplement. Um, they barely do supplement. Um, they, they eat real food, right? They eat earth grown foods in great variety until they're satisfied, not until they're full. They're not gluttons. They're just mature eating real good quality foods. They exercise intelligently, but not overdoing it and not, not, you know, ridiculously. Um, they sleep, they get good rest and recovery and relaxation. They, you know, that, that, that's, that's the big part of it. And they manage stress, minimize stress. That's, that's, that's what we talk about. So when everybody wants to know, Dolce, tell me what about the new beta alanine supplement? Is that, that will that do it for my total fat loss? What do you think about L-carnitine? I heard L-carnitine and Yohimba and HCL with a little spike of caffeine and guarana does an amazing job. Like, like 0 0.0007 lipolysis can actually be achieved. That's what most of many of you do or many of the people you know that you do. And that's what we deal with here every day. So what we try and do is tell you the truth about what really, really happens. And uh, I appreciate that. Tracy, Carlos Ruiz, Power Pasta 2500 is awesome. Thanks, Coach. You're the best. Carlos, you are awesome, my friend. I appreciate it. Carlos is talking about the Power Pasta recipe from the thedolcediet.com. Four week and 12 week online personalized health and fitness weight loss diet and exercise program. The most sophisticated and successful of its kind at thedolcediet.com. Carlos, that's awesome. That power pasta recipe is exactly what our athletes eat after they weigh in later on that night. Not immediately because we rehydrate and rebalance them. Um, and then as they get through their day, their digestive system is able to handle more complex foods. They typically finish the night with the power pasta and it is amazing. Turns them into cyborgs. Brian White, got my sister to get on the three weeks to shred it program. Thanks for making a good program. She won't listen to me and we say the same thing. So it's nice to hear her light up with motivation. She, oh, I get it. Yeah, nobody in my family listens to me either. Isn't that funny? So you coach my family, I'll coach your family. And uh, <laughs> that, that's good. That makes me happy. I'll tell, I'll tell her welcome. Thank you. Brian, da, 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 da. Um, Daniel Weiss. Hey, all, oh, what's up? Brian White. How often do you use sled training, posterior chain and quad dominant drags? What do you think about doing the sled on the days between three week um, full body five by five? I love that. I love sled dragging. We don't have a sled in here. Uh, we did for a little bit, but it's you know not conducive of the plaza that we're in. The facility is in, um, but we do lots of farmers walks in here, lots of farmers walks. Um, and I think that that's very beneficial. We do lots of rope poles. We got these massive stroops. I don't even know the total tension, elastic bands. So we do lots of walkouts and things like that. Um, I guess it, it could be, I think that's, that's doing the job, but I love sled, you know, the sled. So next facility for sure, uh, we're going to try and be near a field, a dirt field, hopefully on a dirt field. 
um, or build our own if we need to and, and get some outdoor work into drags and throws and pulls and things like that for sure. Get dirty. Jostine, fro yo from Norway. What's up, Jostine? Good to see you, man. Welcome. Um, or man or female, Jostine. Is that like Justine? And it's wrong. So hello, hello, my Norwegian friend. Greg Parr, you always talk about lists, but your program suggests hit first thing in the morning, i.e., the burpee push-up sit-up video. Greg Parr, well, what the 20-minute morning is. So Greg Parr is talking about one of the suggested exercise programs on the Dolce Diet.com's 12-week membership program, the Living Lean program. It's an eight-week program with with also the four weeks of three weeks to shred it. But on the eight weeks of the Living Lean program, possibly for some people on the three weeks to shred it program, your program is is created specifically for you based upon your information, your goals, your background, your training history. Um, with that being said, some programs are suggested what we call the 20 minute morning. Now inside our 20 minute morning, we talked about that for years. So the 20 minute morning has, doesn't really have anything to do with health and fitness, but it has a dramatic of impact. The 20 minute morning isn't about health and physical health and fitness. It's not true because it's all tied in. But the 20 minute morning is about getting your life in order, centering yourself. So the 20 minute morning essentially is you wake up, you use the you use the restroom, wash your hands, step on the scale, take a photo of the scale when you step off, walk into a dark place somewhere, sit down on the floor, sit down comfortably and breathe deeply, <sighs> meditate, visualize, focus, call it whatever you want. I don't care. Just start counting backwards from 300. I keep my phone set to an alarm on five minute intervals. And when that very, you know, very, I'm not going to do the music for you. Very, 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 very gentle, like a massage room, gentle kind of starts to just get a little louder and ease me out of that. Then I'll immediately go. So five minutes of just breathing deeply, thinking about nothing, Om, you know, whatever you got to do to get there, clear your mind completely. Then Immediately, we perform 10 minutes of exercise, body weight exercise, one minute of body weight squat, one minute of body weight push up, one minute of body weight um, push up, uh, V up, one minute of burpees, and one minute of plank repeated twice. 10 minutes of exercise. I don't care if you perform five squats in a minute or 60. I haven't quite gotten to 60. I've gotten like a sloppy 58. Um, it's, it's a little more difficult. Obviously, because it's one second, one second, one second. Pretty cool. It's fun. Push-ups are actually a little easier, um, longer range of motion. But I digress. So 60 seconds of body weight squats, 60 seconds of body weight push-ups, 60 seconds of V-ups, uh, 60 seconds of burpee, and 60 seconds holding a plank. Repeat it twice. That's 15 minutes. Like you woke up 17 minutes ago, 15 minutes in, you've gotten this done. And then I sit down. I sit down at my desk, and I write out my five goals for the day. The five goals of the day surround – Fitness, family, finance, future, and for me. I, I talk about this. We just spent uh, half a day on this at our most recent Dolce Diet Coach Certification and Nutrition Conference. We break this down. So what we break down, I break down, I have those five goals, five specific goals I set for myself every day. Fitness, finance, future. Um, fitness, family, finance, future, and for me, the five basic goals. Fitness, most important because... You have to be healthy. You have to be fit to be around your family, to take care of your family, to provide for your family, to like, you know, just be a part of your family. You have to be around and be fit and be able to contribute, be able to climb mountains and swim streams and, and jump over fences and, and, you know, do all that stuff. You should be able to. Otherwise, you're just limiting your opportunities. We have and, you know, for for faith, same thing, you know, because we talk about this and it's great questions. Fitness is more important than your faith, essentially, because that's the root of your faith itself is how you treat your body, the gift that you've been given from your God, whoever that might be, or just the, 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 the concept of that. Because we deal with many people from many different you know, backgrounds and, and, and thoughts on the world, which is fine. But your fitness is everything. That allows you to do your worshiping and, and show your respect and, and, and all that good stuff. Family is next. Do something good for your family that day above and beyond what you normally do. Making dinner. No, that's not it. Do something special for your family, someone in your family. Your family can be your family, your friends, your coworkers, your teammates, your community. But it's like your family, those closest and tightest to you. Finance. Don't be a bum. Get your shit straight. Get your shit straight. Pay your taxes. Save your money. You know, think about retirement, whatever it is, whatever it is. Um, finance every day, have that goal every day to do something to move that ball forward. Future, what do you want to do in the future? 
Where do you want to live? What do you want to know? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be with three or so years from now? You want to take a class? Do you want to go to a school? Is it, is it the best school in your area? You got to move to a different area. Go to the school to study the thing that you want to learn about. And then you're kind of studying that you want to learn about. Great. I got this thing now. I, I, I know about it, but where the fuck am I going to do it? I got to go somewhere else to do it. Have that in mind so you can see multiple moves in mind and just start doing a little bit to make that more of a possibility. But it should be daily. Kind of the, that, that, that future goal. And for me means for you, for me, 20% of your time should be spent doing anything you fucking want to do for yourself, as long as it doesn't affect anybody else. Whatever you want to do, you want to go play video games for 20% of your time and you're 42 years old, but you've kicked ass on the other four points. 80% of your time was completely focused on, on achieving these great goals to help yourself and the other people around you. And 20% of your time is just you being a, a, a bass fisherman or a fly fisherman um, or whatever, you know, a, a sneakerhead, whatever your thing is, 20% of your time, have fun, do it. Jesus Christ, you know, have fun on it. Um, that's so that's um, to answer. And I'm going pretty deep on this just so you understand. Um, that's the answer. So that's why we do it. We don't do it the 20 minute morning for the burp ups, burpees and the push ups. I mean, it's only two minutes of squats. It's two minutes of push ups. It's 10 minutes in total. It's awesome because it gets the blood flowing. I get my best ideas in that 20 minute period of time. My best ideas. I'm so charged up and motivated for the day. That's what it's for. So part of being on our programs, we call it the health and habit phase. It's the Dolce diet is not a diet. It's a lifestyle. This is what I'm talking about. It's not the macros. It's not the calories, the title of this video. It's not that stuff. It's this stuff. It's the, the mentality. It's the process. It's the approach. It's the pursuit while not making the stupid bonehead um, decisions of the exclusionary diet programs of the supplement, you know, false claims of the processed food and synthetic chemical industry of all the, the apparatus, the wearables, the things that will do it for you. The approach of, of that, the goals of that, the things that'll do it for you that you'll never get there. Never get, you'll be better than the, the than the, just the horrible slobs. And most people compare themselves to the horrible slobs, but you shouldn't, you have to compare yourself based upon optimal optimal design how can you optimize your design as this this biological organism as this this human how can you optimize this this the output that was a rant right that was a good one hopefully that helps aaron tome eating too few calories equals bad that is bad goal is to stay lean while improving in the variety of crossfit style workouts most on this channel are familiar with I'm about 6'6", 305, 6'6", 305. Aaron, are you in shape? Because I know dudes your height that are in fucking shape um, in, over three. Or are you, you know, kind of uh, in, in a, a risky situation? AJ, sorry, just shot by. Wow, a lot of questions here. I'm going to try and run through it. AJ says, Dolce, Darcy, Granier. Hey, Dolce, just start three weeks to shred it today. Welcome. Just curious as to why there is so much fruit in this plan. I assume it goes back to micronutrients, but I guess I've always been told that it would be too many carbs. Isn't that funny? Um, it's funny, Darcy, you, you're kind of, you know, you represent a lot of, of what I was discussing in the false information being put out there by you guys and, and a big part of the population believing it. You know, the, this high fat movement, the high fat community will have you believe that pork rinds and conventional butter and 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 bacon is better than fruit so when you say wow there's a lot of fruit you're eating what you're eating berries blueberries and strawberries raspberries and blackberries fresh if possible you're eating an apple or a pear um, you're eating maybe a handful of grapes um what else would be in there the some banana in the breakfast bowl or some raisins like a few like basic things half a cup to a cup and the thought is the wrong thought is that that's bad that will make you heavy that'll make you fat and that's such a lie it's so false it's so false and it's scary that this information that's the fake news fuck politics i don't care about politics this is the stuff that affects you guys immediately daily daily this is what affects you not the the, the doom and gloom headlines that everybody's so sucked to these are the false the fake news headlines you know blueberries are going to make you fat and give you diabetes that's most ridiculous thing ever not eating blueberries will somehow make you more resistant to cancer like these are the things that are being said out there and it's it's insane um 
and, and just just give it time and watch what happens. Someone, I'll, I'll post it later, but we get many people who follow these super high fat, low carb to no carb diets who jump on the R very carb friendly program because it's just all real food and they lose weight. They lose weight immediately and they feel better and they normalize. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? And I, I hope that goes to answer your question, Darcy. Jason, would an intense jujitsu session be closer to the 800 range? Um, I would probably, I'd say no. Um, I'd say no, you're probably going to sweat more. It's probably going to be more of an electrolyte imbalance than a, a, a calorie invasive event, more of an electrolyte and a hydration invasive event. Of course, the calories will matter, but yeah, it may be, it depends how big you are, how hard you're going, how often you're going, you know, that does matter. Are you going for what, straight thirties? Are you doing five fives or is it just kind of, you know, roll and, and, and play and, and, you know, explode and play. Um, Danny Peterson, what's up, coach? Happy Monday. Thank you, Danny. Carlos Ruiz, I did the water load last week. I lost four pounds and it worked like a charm. I had a small headache though. What do you think that might have been? Dehydration. Could it have been dehydration? As always, thank you. Most likely, uh, most likely shit, man. You know, people in Vegas are dehydrated all the time. They don't drink or they have headaches all the time. I should say they don't drink. It's because they're dehydrated from normal life, regular life. They're not realizing they're in a desert and their bodies, you know, respirating, perspirating, um, or perspiring much greater than normal, eliminating fluids much greater than normal. Um, so that's likely what it is, not knowing your exact situation. Chris Didding, what's up, coach? Hey, coach, what are your thoughts on the old cottage cheese before bed thing? Approved or not approved? That is approved. If, if you well tolerate dairy and you enjoy it, not everybody does, but I'd say a third of the people out there or so seem to enjoy dairy. Dairy, like cottage cheese, doesn't bother me at all and makes me feel better in ways makes me feel better. Um, I, I appreciate it, if, if you will. But I don't eat it every day. And if I do, it's usually four ounces to talk myself back out of it. It's usually four ounces um, every, you know, I don't shit, once or twice a month. Now that I really think about that. Um, da, 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 da. Sorry, sorry, sorry. These questions, they fly by. So let me try and clean these up for you guys. Cottage cheese. Where's Where was all this when I was younger? Amen, man. I, I'm of the era that we have to wait for the bodybuilding magazines to come out three months after the events, right? So back in the old Ironman and Muscle Mag, International and Flex and Muscle and Fitness and, you know, even the, the more fringe ones, right? You know, like his body workout and, you know, God knows what I'm forgetting many of them. Uh, but I knew what the schedule was back in those days, the 90s, the early, late 80s, early 90s, even my goodness. Late 80s, early 90s. You'd have to wait now. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. You know, buying these, you know, VHS tapes recorded by like the old school beta camera or whatever the hell it is. Um, and then bought from like the back of these magazines in like a one ad, you know. Um, funny. Mike, do you reckon a cold shower or a warm shower would be best after lifting weights? Will cold water hinder recovery? Jacob, no, a little of both. I mean, if you have the access to walk into a sauna, an infrared sauna post-workout and then finish with some cold, that would be awesome. That would be ideal, but it's not necessary. Um, both have a benefit, and I don't see a real negative to either based upon your goals, though, and you your individuality. Um. Naft, so positive. I love it. That's what we're here for. We're here to we're here, uh, here to help you guys. Yo, Han, thanks for the topic. Hopefully that helps. The first 10 minutes of this were fire. The actually from like minute two forward, start at minute two and just listen. Minute two to minute 10 are awesome. What a great exercise for someone who what's a great exercise for someone who has really bad knees and has three kids and zero time to exercise. Michael, I would not say you have zero time to exercise. I would say you have a lot of time to exercise. In fact, I would say you have the same time to exercise as every other human on this planet, meaning that you have the same 24 hours in a day and you are busy. I'm sure you are busy, but I guarantee you there are way more busier people that are finding a lot more time to exercise. It's all about priorities. You can't find the time if you're not actively looking for it. And this is coming from a busy dude. I'm a busy, busy person too. Find time. We find time. 
but you have bad knees. I get it. And you got three kids. I get it. Number one, let's get those bad knees treated. Are you under a doctor's care? You absolutely should be. Do you have a rehab program for your knees to strengthen and rebuild them because you want to get ahead of that. You do not want to do it, want to be a dad with three kids who's got bad knees now because the next 20 years, they're going to continue to decline, my man. That's not going to be fun for anybody. So get those bad boys treated right now and stay on top of it. Um, from there, it's easy. Just, you know, just go for a walk. Just do body weight squats. Like, it's easy, easy, easy. You know, you can find just 60 seconds and 60 seconds an hour. Just do body weight squats. Watch how different you look after doing 120 to 150 body weight squats per day, every day. Right? That's crazy. That's crazy. You can bang that out in a minute, an hour. I got two kids, two toddlers, three and one. So I get it. I know. I know. Um, we had a push-up competition in my living room. How about that? I didn't get my workout. This is when I don't get my workout in here. I'll share this with you guys, of course. Why not? It should be helpful. When I don't get my workouts in here or I'm too busy and I get home and I'm with my girls and playing, I make it very physical play. We play swing. We play catch. I throw them up into the air like um, – um, like you see in CrossFit gyms with med balls, they love it. They're both 35 pound little kettlebells carrying them both and like doing squats with them, doing push up. We had a push up competition, uh, myself and, 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 and my girls. And of course, Arden doesn't get it. The one year old, she just kind of plays and rolls. And that's awesome. Victoria actually goes for it now. She understands. So that's something and I'm talking to the dads out here. That's something you can do. And I was crushed. I should have taken selfies because I'm just pumped. Everything was on fire and swollen and vascular and just feeling really fit and healthy. Um, busy dad, right? You can do that. Make it if you got three kids, use your kids as weights, even get them active watching dad work out. Um, all the dads out there and the moms out there, very, very, very important. Just don't use it as an excuse. You got to find the time. Um, Prince Eisner, Mr. Dolce, do I lose fat proportional to the calories I save? Do you lose fat proportionate to the calories you save? I don't understand save, um, but there might be a little English, you know, miscalculation. Do I lose fat proportional to the same calories? So I'm going to answer it the way I do and let me know if it, it's the wrong question I'm answering. You do not lose like to like calories from body fat and essentially body fat has a specific um unit of energy associated with it that's what the fat cell is right it's, it's just it's, it's stored energy we also store energy in the form of glycogen inside the muscle and the liver that's used as glucose the primary energy fuel source for the human body in many capacities and this is part of the the high fat you know low carb conversation but that's another topic but you do not lose the, if I cut 500 calories from my diet, I don't lose automatically 500 stored calories worth of body fat, if that's your question. Um, but again, it could be a little translation issue. Glenn Harry, yo, Dolce, any advice for someone getting into the fitness game for a career? Love the vids, man. Yeah, man, you got to live it. You got to live this shit. You do not get into the fitness world if you don't fucking live fitness because people will see you 24 hours a day. You got to be the fit guy. When I walk into a room, I got to be the most fit motherfucker in that room or at the very least be as fit as the other fucking high powered, super fit motherfuckers in that room. We got to be able to throw down on a minute's notice. Shirt off, jump squats, double body weight bench press, and if need be, got to get that shit done. If you want to be a fitness pro, because if you're not, why is anybody going to listen to you? That's my philosophy. That's what we teach at our certification and nutrition conference. You want to be a great fucking coach? Well, you better be the fittest version of you, of you, that you can be. That's the point here. So you have to be the fittest version of yourself. I do not have to out sprint. Usain Bolt probably won't be able to do it. I don't have to outlift Eric Lillibridge. Probably won't ever be able to do that. But I have to be the, the fastest, strongest, most durable, healthy version of myself. And people see that. You know that. When you meet someone like us, you know this motherfucker, damn, lives it. You can see it. You can't hide it. 
So if you want to be a fitness professional, that's what it has to be. And the public, you guys, because it's you guys like me, I'm part of you. I'm the consumer public also. We can smell bullshit. You know when these fitness motherfuckers are just bullshitting you because they're not living it. They're not living it. So why are you going to listen to them? Or you're going to listen most to the, 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 the people, the coaches that do it most. And those who do it most do it best. That's what you got to be. If not, it's not worth it. it, it be, it's like a, a bartender job or a, a, um, you know, a, a, a bouncer job. It's, 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 it's good job, good money, quick money. You burn out quick though. You burn out quick. It's like, all right, you know, I get six months, couple years, grind through, build up my cash. And then I'm going to do, go do what I really want to do. If you're not about the lifestyle, you burn out quick as a fitness coach or a personal trainer or a nutrition professional or whatever that role is. So that's my advice to you. Strong advice to you. Bruno, Mr. Dolce, this is my favorite TV show. I hate cable TV, no cable in my house. I have no cable in my house also. It's so much better, right? Life is so much better. So we watched The Lion King, the original Lion King last night in my house. That's, that was our big TV night, and it was fucking amazing. My daughter woke up this morning singing, da, way better than I do. There's no, no Fox News, no CNN, no Kim Kardashian, no yes to the dress and, and whatever other shit that, that's out there. Um, not being overly critical, but at the same time, life is way better without that shit. And Bruno, you know what I'm talking about. Steel Jack City. What's up, Mike? Favorite brand of Greek yogurt? I don't really have one. Uh, we're lucky. We got a good Whole Foods out here and lots of good you know options. It's like every time we go in, there's a newer, better um greek yogurt so I'll, I'll pay more attention to a couple of the brands that are in my fridge um miss brandy gets those so i don't pay too much attention i just eat that shit shane fitzgerald coach i load trucks for fedex damn from 345 to 845 i usually strength train around 9 15 10 30 and then do crossfit at 4 30 what do you think would be my calorie intake shane you're doing too much my man unless you're like 18 to 23 years old you can get by on that um, but if you're outside of that range, you're crushing it, man. You're that's a lot. That's a lot of work. Um, I'd back off a little bit of it. Strength train from 950 to 1030 and then CrossFit at 430. What time do you sleep? So what I would do is I would pick one of those training slots and I would alternate. I do my strength training one day, my CrossFit the next, my strength training the next, my CrossFit the next, if you must. That's what I would do. I wouldn't be doing two a days. You shouldn't do two a days. You can't do two a days with your type of job. But I don't know what your goals are. Maybe your goals is, is just about volume and workload. If so, okay, you're risking injury. So you got to be super, super careful. Lots of overuse injuries in, the, in that type of schedule. Um, if you're younger, you'll get away from it, but you'll likely create some, some bad little pieces. Um, Michael says, do you do private advice or consultations? Yes, we do. You can go to dolcedietshop.com right now. You can click on the one-on-one -on -one consultation. Inside the one-on-one -on -one consultation, you will be paired with one of our registered dietitians or certified trainers to have a 30-minute consultation with you to answer any and all of your questions after you fill out a digital intake form. We have a ton of questions that we ask you before the phone call is even set up. So we have all your answers. We know everything we need to know. So when we do have that first conversation, it's 30 minutes of right to business, not 15, 20 minutes of learning more about you. We got that info. We're ready to go. Um, that's at dolcedietshop.com. If you wanted to speak with me personally, that's a slightly different situation, um, but you can send an email to support at the dolcedietshop.com. Talk, I mean, do do the, the the consult that from from our shop though. That that's by far the best. Our team is the 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 smartest. Ever use the pulley attachments for the power racks? The pulley I have not, Zach. Carlos. Um, man, so there's so many questions, guys. I'm gonna do my best to run through this. I'm Zach C. No, Carlos. Hey, Mike. I was wondering if on Living Lean we should look for dried cranberries, unsweetened or sweetened. It's been really hard to find dried cranberries without added sugar. So that's Living Lean volume, the first Living Lean, or not Living Lean, was it? Sorry, sorry. There's, there's so many recipes through my head right now. 
Um, but no, if it is the cranberries, definitely do the unsweetened. We just want dried cranberries. Nothing, nothing, nothing added. No canola oil added. No um, salt. No, no sugar. No cane sugar. No synthetic sugars, please. Shandar, get off. Got off the diet intentionally for two weeks. Gained 13 pounds. 176 to 189. Now back on the diet all the while. Constant workouts three to four days a week. Um, awesome. Carlos, would be what would be the difference between whole wheat and 100% whole wheat foods? Example, pasta and breads. Um, so 100% whole wheat has a greater amount of wheat. And in this, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, paraphrasing here. Um, and whole wheat just contains uh, a partial uh, percentage of wheat. And how that's broken out really, you know, depends on, on the exact verbiage and the product. But you can pretty much tell just by reading the ingredients. So all that, what it says, natural, all natural, natural is, is unregulated. It's an unregulated term. So natural can be synthetic, no problem. It's very easy. Uh, and many, many of the natural products are have synthetics in there. Um, so that being said, read the ingredients. Don't, don't worry about that stuff. Marcelo, Dolce, keep kicking ass. Car broke down today, so I'm YouTubing my way back on the road. Five goals sounds awesome. The five goals is awesome. Those who heard that, five goals, baby. Uh, Mr. Vengeance, anyone on the keto diet? I hope so. Hopefully they listen to our information and, and make informed decisions. Joey Oliveira, say, hey, Mike, I found myself on Living Lean, skipping the breakfast bowl, but eating lunch and dinner and a few days, including a snack. Is this bad? I am doing jits and lifting two days per week. Well, Joey, I would ask why and what are your goals? If you're already at your goal weight and everything feels good and life feels good, enjoy man kick ass this is not a template what we do is so when you go to the dolce diet.com and when you join the four week or the 12 week program you are given a very specific personalized meal plan for you for your goals to hit your goals to crush your goals that's what the dolce diet.com is about inside that system and that's our trojan horse to get you lean and shredded and strong and on weight or whatever your goal is that's the trojan horse the real purpose of the site, the four week and the 12 week program is to teach you how to eat for the rest of your life. We give you that, we build that. This is, this is me saying and our team saying, this is exactly what you should eat right now. The, here's the exact ingredients. Here's the exact recipe to do it. Here's the weekly grocery list. So you have no excuses. It's so easy to have it ready to go. Eat just like this for the next four weeks and watch how fast your body changes. Once that program, the four weeks are over and you've lost your 15, 20, 25 pounds in four weeks, many people do lose 21 pounds or more, some less during that 21 days. And that's what it was built for. They then have access to a complete resource section, over 200 new recipes, over 200 additional exercises, because we build the same exercise program for you. It's the exact exercise program to build your body and hit those goals that you want paired with the nutrition. That's what the Dolce Diet.com does for you. It's the most sophisticated system out there. It's fucking, it's, it's amazing. And you see all the people who are crushing it right now. But inside of that system, it, it's, it's built for you. A bunch of dinner for you is also anyways. Um, awesome. And, and everything is put into the system. So the point is, it's an educational system. From there, if you want to pull those breakfast bowls out because you're living your best life, perfect life, you're already on, on track and you're on the, the Living Lean program now, which means you've probably already gone through the first four weeks of the three weeks to shred it program. That's awesome. If you're not to your goal and you're following the plan, though, stay on the plan. Stay on the plan. So I don't know what part of that you're at, but it, it's very easy. Awesome advice, Michael says. Thanks, Michael. Angelo, hey, Uncle Mike, today is my first day in the 12-week program. Ate my breakfast bowl and my second meal already. Can't wait to crush it in the gym. Boom. Angelo, I'm excited for you. What a delicious day. Ooh, I love my – the first day is like, I can't – why haven't I been eating this food? Why haven't I been eating like this? It gets better and better. So keep me posted, Angelo. Kevin Rosh, hey, Uncle Mike, can you give few, a few details on what Joey Chestnut's stomach goes through the day of and after the eating 70 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Kevin, I don't know. I have no idea. I can only, I can only imagine just from a human perspective, having overeaten, of course, in my life, I can only imagine he feels horrific. I don't know what he does to get that out. I can't imagine he lets that all digest through. He's got to, I would assume, try and make himself vomit it out. Geez, that'd be scary. He could choke on it, I would think 
And it's just a scary, scary, scary thing. I don't know why these eaters eat like that. That's crazy. I'm a guy. I was 282 pounds at one point. I used to eat a shitload, but never like that. That's insane. Um, Shane Yo, morning, Mike, from the sunny Gold Coast of Australia. Boom. I am jealous, my friend. AJ tried if it fits your macros and actually gained weight, even though was in a calorie deficit, started eating real foods and boom, started getting leaner. I guess I forgot my clan and trend with if it fits your macros. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? I said that a, a couple of years ago also. And ooh, that community got pissed. They got so pissed, pissed at me. But it's true. Because fuck, I know, I know half of them. You know, I, I know have duh, motherfuckers. Like, you know, you talk about it. Shane Fitzgerald, sleep right. After my last meal around eight. That's fine. Dirty. Boom from the UK is in the house. Carlos Vida. Thank you, Mike. Also, my brother lost five pounds on the first week of three weeks of following, sorry, the Living Lean College edition. Thank you for the inspiration and motivation. Hell yeah. Told you that. We have the college diet guide for those of you who need it. Chandra Pass. Can you use a small breakfast bowl for a snack? Absolutely. You can. Hawk, what's up, my man? Um, how are you? I'm losing inches off my body fat areas, but the scales are the same. That's a best case scenario. Would you say that's okay or I need to do something else? That's the best case scenario. You're losing inches off your waist, but the scale staying the same. That means you're getting yoked, homie. And as hard as you're training, you know you are. Good for you. Good for you. Um, Prince, thanks for answering the save calories question. Greetings from Germany. Prince, absolutely. Thank you for being here. Welcome. We appreciate you. Really do uh, enjoy all you guys being here. Dave GZ back in the house. What's up, Dave? David Gilbert, I've been eating using the principles you teach on this channel. I now eat half as much and have much more energy. And I've lost 14 pounds in two months and I'm eating, I'm eating super healthy jujitsu and boxing. David Gilbert has simply been listening to the advice that I give on this channel and is down 14 pounds in two months. That's just listening, hopefully, and, and applying because this is what he's saying. And I appreciate that. And it's humbling. Um, and that's what we do right? We educate. We give you guys all this information for you to use that your, yourself. Uh, we inspire you, hopefully, to show you other people like David and everybody else here um, who's hitting results and, and then, you know, entertain you, try and get your attention long enough. Hello. Hello, dickheads. <laughs> um, get your attention long enough that you'll, this information will be helpful or be heard. Pyro, I just started three weeks to shred it and living lean today. Never thought I'd be stuff, stuffing my face on a meal plan like this. So much food, pyro and everybody. That is one of the biggest um, um, notes because it's not a complaint because that wasn't a complaint, but notes um, for people who just start three weeks to shred it at the Dolce diet.com. They say it's so much food. I can't believe I get to eat so much food. How can I lose weight if I eat this much food? And then three days are like, I can't believe I've lost this much weight in three days and eating all this food. That's the beauty of it. That's what happens when you follow our programs and, and pyros on that right now. He gets it. Joey, thanks, Mike, for answering my questions. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Hawk, dude, you've made my day by clarifying that with the scale staying the same. It's okay, but losing inches off. It's really great. Happy, uh, really happy, coach. I'm mega stressed. Bro, don't even worry about it. That's awesome. We call it stuffing the shirt. That's the goal. I want your T-shirt to shrink wrap around you. That's what you're doing right now. Tiny waist, big round, full shoulders, big, thick back, everything. That's what we're doing. And that's male and female. Just everything to round and shape. The ladies don't get big. They get tighter and more curvaceous. The guys, we get more dense and we swell. We get more of that granite added to us. It's not losing weight, just ooh. That's what happens. We want to stuff the shirt. We want to get bigger, wider, thicker. That's what we do. That's what our focus is. Everybody else is just trying to lose weight. Noobs, white belts. Uh, Zonder, hey man, what's up? Just joined Zonder. Welcome. Happy you are here. Welcome, welcome. I want to thank everybody for being here. Go back and listen to the first um, 10 minutes of the video, specifically at two minutes on. I kind of like, I just bullshit for the first two minutes. I get rid of the dead weight. And then two minutes in, boom, we hit the facts. And it's something that you guys, if you care about the title of this video, that's why you clicked to learn exactly how to determine how many calories you should take. Not that they really matter that much, but at least I'll give you, throw you this bone. Um, in the future, I will do another video and podcast on micronutrition and why micronutrition. And I think that's important. We have to give you that educational piece so you can understand exactly why micronutrition is much more, much more important than your macronutrition when it comes to weight loss or healthy weight gain. 
Um, and we'll break that down in a different video. That, that'll, that'll be a good one.